What is up guys, Smobians here and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. We are back in the world of the 100 baby challenge. I don't know what I'm saying. And yes, we have got a load of babies on our hands now. I mean, it's getting out of control. Most of them are grown into adults by now. I mean, if we look up here, you can see we're closing in on the fifth floor, I believe. Let's do a quick baby count. 60. 60 babies, I think. 60 babies, that's crazy. But yes, Katie. It is that time. How are you doing, my lovely? Do you fancy making a baby? There she does. Good. And it's a boy for the first one. And Riley Simmer says, Dear Joel, a few days ago, my brother Aiden's neck and face started to swell for an unrose and is in hospital. It would make him very happy if you made him a character. So if you do, make it sports themed and a blue themed. And if you can, please make him a bunk med. Please pray he gets better soon. Love, Riley and Aiden. So yes, I hope your brother gets better soon, Riley. Uh, and we're going to name this child Aiden for you. I spelled it wrong. There we go. And we're going to take him off Katie and head down and he's going to be on the first corridor of this floor. The final corridor of this floor, I'm sorry. And we'll put him right at the end by his lonesome at the moment, but don't worry, we'll invite some people to come stay in these rooms soon. Invite, I mean, give birth to them. And let's get building Aiden's room. Okay, so let's place down Aiden. Bam! And make him stay there, and we're gonna give him some diamonds, and then I will show you his room! Room! It sounds like a cow. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so here is Aiden's room, as you can see. Yeah, spots and stuff. And I went for a little sort of makeshift design here, and you can't really get any spots in the mods that I have, so I made my own basketball hoop. What do you think? Uh, there's the glass wall. You bounce off, off, like you throw baskets, like, whoa, like that. Look, and it went in. But give me it back. I want that back. But like you can just throw things in like, whoa, whoa, look at this, I'm just scoring so many baskets, whoa, whoa, oh look at that, that was like a free pointer, whoa, oh my god, I'm so good at this. And we've got some checkers here as well, because that's kind of a, a game slash sport, and obviously I got some action replays caught with my camera there, like bang, look at that, awesome, soft, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we've got a fox, which I didn't place, uh, it just appeared randomly, uh, we've got a painting, which is cute. Uh, it's just like yellow. And then a swing set because I thought, you know what? Aiden looks like the sort of guy who loves a swing set. So you can't really sit on it. But it's a good swing set. I know that. And here is his bunk beds. And the beds are a bit dodgy. Like, why are the legs there? But it's a bunk bed anyway. So you can like you can climb up the ladder. And then you can like sleep in this bunk bed up here. So Aiden can have friends over and stuff. Can't you, Aiden? He's shaking his head, but he means to nod. Let's move on to baby number two this episode. Up to what I like to call her, uh, matey. Because she's my matey, aren't you, Katie? And we're going to procreate, and what's it going to be? It is a boy again. I love some of the stuff that you guys come up with. Like Daphne Quitoriano. I probably said that completely wrong. I apologize, Daphne. Uh, said, there's a creepy twist. Name a boy, Sander, who you, when you procreated with Kate... She already had a baby boy and gave it to you. She cheated on you with Slender Man, made a baby and gave it no name since she didn't want you to be suspicious. Sander will have a black themed room full of blood and knives, which he got from his father, Slender Man. Sander murders children but does not want you, Smallish Beans, to know about it, even though you created this room. I <laughs> hope you like this little back, sorry. And I did. So, Sander, here you are. Uh, it's weird. I didn't even procreate with Katie then. That baby just appeared. Dun -dun -dun. Playing along. Why is there checkerboards there? I feel like I should put Sander, like, alone somewhere, because he sounds quite creepy. Okay, so here is Sander's room. I don't murder kids, so to come in. So he seems pretty friendly, doesn't he? So let's get building his room. Okay, so we're going to place down Sander here before we show you his room. Oh, stay. He does look very evil. Look at him. Look at his eyes. He looks so evil. Uh, but we're going to give him some diamonds anyway, even though he's going to kill us all. But let me quickly show you Sander's room. So we come into the room and we've got loads of evil stuff in here. It's all black. I mean, just all black. We've got red windows, black ceiling, black walls, some chain here of a skull, chest full of bones and a skull and like blood and swords and everything. Swords, blood all over the floor, blood in his lamps as well and a black bed for his black heart. Sander, you evil. You're so evil. I don't like you, Sander. Uh, and skulls everywhere, and obviously a coat hat, because he needs to hang up his coat. Everyone needs to hang up their coats. Uh, but you can't actually get into his room, because he doesn't want me to be in here, because he doesn't want me to see anything, do you, Sander? So you actually have to get out his room by just breaking the wall. Uh, but yeah, I put the barriers on there for his safety, but mainly our safety. 
<laughs> but yes, let's move on to Katie. Katie, where are you waiting? And let's have, let's have a little chat beforehand. She wants to talk about it. Well, let's just procreate then, Katie. Obviously, you're just annoyed at me, so we might as well have a baby. And Valerie Reese, probably pronounced that wrong again, said, Can you name a girl Sky? And her favourite thing to do is find Enderman to be friends with. Also, can she have an Enderman themed room and have a twin named Victoria? Victoria has Pikachu themed room, blah, 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 blah. And sorry, I'm not going to actually do twins anymore because I feel like it just gives less chance for other people. So I'm going to. Just do Sky's room, and I hope that is okay. Uh, so we'll just do Sky. I hope that's all right for you, Valerie. Uh, she her lost her long lost twin will be born in another life. She's actually long lost. Actually, she's we she we had twins, me and Katie, uh, but we kind of lost track because we lost her. I think she may have ran off to Beancraft. I'm sorry. The sky's the limit, aka she is the limit. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, let's get building her room. That is not building, that's a sign. Okay, so I've finished Sky's room, and it is very Enderman themed, so if we back in slowly, wah, look at this, Enderman on the wall. That's right, Enderman on the wall, because it's right next door to this room uh, of the black walls. I thought, why not, why not? Uh, let's have the Enderman on the wall. So we've got his eyes, and it's quite pretty looking. Uh, oh dear, in the middle we've got a table. Uh, where she does all the secret meetings with her Enderman, because Endermen have meetings, did you know that? Now you do. And then here is a smiley face made out of Ender Pearls. The nose is a bit far up, I know, it kind of looks like a Cheshire Cat. Uh, ender chest in the corner, because Enderman. Uh, and a black lamp, a bed, and a table. And she's quite a simple person, because she just loves Enderman and that's it. So, yeah, let's place her down. Bang! Oh my god, look how black her hair is. Can you see that? Can you see how black her hair is? She looks like an Enderman lover. Let's give her some diamonds. Oh no! She's really excited. Look, she saw the Enderman on the wall. She's like, that is a very good Enderman. And then she's just jumping up and down like, whoa, Enderman, 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 Enderman. Uh, but yes, let's move on. We finished Sky's room for the last room on this floor and the fourth baby this episode. Let's go see our lovely, lovely friend, Katie. So let's interact. Let's give her a high five. And she goes, hi, honey. So, uh, high five, hi, honey. So, yeah, she's she's okay at the moment. Let's tell her a story. You shouldn't make fun of Skylar. I don't know who Skylar is. Probably one of our children. Kind of forgot by now. But let's procreate. And it's another girl. Amelie Bennett says, I have asked a lot of times, but I will keep trying. Please, 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 please. More pleases, lots of pleases. Could you name a girl Amelie? Am Ellie. Uh, she loves red and boys, and she has a secret crush on her boy named James in her class, and she loves to sing. If this is named after you, Emily, do you have a secret crush on a boy named James? Just go say to him, say hi, I have a secret crush on you. Well, then it's not a secret anymore. I'll shut up. Don't take relationship advice off me. And you can add anything else that you want, and uh, you're awesome. P.S. This is the best series ever. Thank you very much, and here is your child named after you in Melee. I don't know why I said that so weird. So, Emily. You are the final baby on our fourth floor of magic. So let's get building Amelie's room. Okay, so I have finished Amelie's room and she said do red and she loves to sing and she loves someone called James. Uh, but apart from that, do what I want. So let's place her down and I'll show you what I've done. So bang, there she is. Hello, Emily. Do you want some diamonds? Yeah, you do. And here we've got the red, and you can see some red here. Uh, she's got a brush here, which she can sing on, a little pet wolf, a bed. Uh, it says, I love James, but don't tell him. It's a secret. But here, uh, she said, do what you want. So I had some pianos, only a few. I think we've got like 12 maybe there, it's maybe 16. No, I think it's only 12, and we added a few wolves as well. Uh, but you know, maybe, maybe don't let me choose because I do stuff like this. I don't know what it was. I'm sorry, it just took over me. Uh, there's actually a gap there, so can we fill that in? There we go, that's better. It's got that, wait, there's another gap. There we go, that's better. So uh, yeah, that is, this is Amelie's room. I hope you like it. We've also got some paintings here. I didn't know where to put the paintings, so I decided to spread them out, as you can see. 
And also we've got some ostrich legs on the wall here, because why not? And some more combs, because that's what another one uses as a second microphone if a friend comes over. Uh, but yeah, Emily, enjoy your room. That was so weird, I'm so sorry. But let's go up to Katie for the fifth and final baby this episode. Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? 50-50. Ba -ba 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 bang It is a girl. Ba -ba 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 and Cupquake Girl 5 said, Smosh Beans, can you name a girl Tink? And her room will be rainbow theme coloured with flowers and two dogs and flowers in her hair and Lucy Nat Max are the dogs. Thank you. So, yes, I will do that for you. Cupquake Girl, here you go. And let's take out Tink. I like that name. Reminds me of Tinkerbell. And she is going to be the first baby on the fifth floor. Now, this is the final... Oh, no. No, I'm lying. There's six floors, and then they've got a four on the top. They're the four last very special babies. Uh, so, yes, Tink, you're the first on the fifth floor. I hope you feel very privileged. So, here is Tink's room. Let's get building. Okay, so here is Tink's room, fully completed, and it is very rainbow feed. Once I make it day, it makes it look a bit prettier. There we go. Look, all the light coming in through the rainbow. We've got Max and Lucy here in the corner. Lucy with the yellow collar. Max with the blue cyan collar. Some nice paintings in here and some more rainbow stuff. A lovely light blue bed. And some flowers just dotted around the room to make it look very pretty indeed. So let's place her down. Bang. Stay. Wow, she looks very punk rock. She actually's got a flower in her hair, like it says on the sign outside. Okay, so let's give her all these diamonds quickly. As she just interacts with Max and Lucy there. Look, she's just like stroking her like, good. Good doggies. Woo! And yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoy your room, Tink. And that has put us on to the fifth floor, which is ridiculous. Let's have a look at how many babies we got now. Let's work it out. So we got 65 babies. So that is mental. So we are 40, 35 away. We're near uh, 65. 66.6 is two thirds of the way there. So we're pretty much two thirds of the way there. Yes, guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. I'm going to be ending it now. We'll be back next time with five more babies. And then we've only got like seven episodes left in total, which is crazy. So yes, make sure to leave a like and comment and tell me what you want. If you want a child to be named after you and I'll see you another time. Goodbye. I like rap music. Who is your favourite rap artist? That goofy smile she does. So I don't listen to rap music. What are you talking about, Evie? You just said you like rap.